Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is John here. <clears throat> this is uh, vlog number six, I think. And uh, I am thinking about trying out a new type of uh, YouTube Live. I'm not too sure if it would be such a good idea or not, but uh, where I just simply leave the camera running on a, uh, a project that I would be working on that would uh, normally take me eight hours. And, uh, oh shoot, I'm a bit lost here. And I wouldn't necessarily be working out the whole time, but I would just have the camera on it. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that would piss people off or, or not. But usually if when I'm working on something, my, unfortunately, and I can't do anything about this, my hand is in the way. That I figure if I just leave the camera going on it for eight hours or four hours or whatever, and I may only be working on it for two hours or three, half that time, that uh, it give people an opportunity to sort of look at what I'm doing. And, you know, they can they only want to spend 10, 10 seconds there. That's, that's fine. And, uh, so, I think that's... I'm going to try that out. Um, I already started a project. Wow. Oh, my camera. Just, I think my gimbal just went dead. Did it? One second here. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, I didn't charge my gimbal. So I don't know how much power I have left on this. So I may have to switch over to holding the phone by my hand. So, um, what the heck was I saying? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, yes, I, I already started a project. I only spent maybe an hour on it already. And, uh, so I'm going to see if I can do that, uh, just do the thing where I'll leave my camera running the whole, the whole time. And uh, God willing, I won't uh, take out too many people. We'll see how it goes. Let's just try it once. And uh, there goes my gimbal again. Oh, I think my batteries are going on my gimbal. If people don't like it, I'll... Uh, I won't do that thing anymore with the YouTube Live, and uh, that'll be that, so. <clears throat> Oops, I'm going to have to switch over to my uh, holding the camera by hand. One second here. Just bear with me for a second. that I put the phone back I have to take the phone out of the case every time I put it in the gimbal so one second I'm just gonna throw the phone back in the case here so in case I drop it I don't have to worry about uh, cracking the screen I have it inside this thing there we go And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my gimbal. I just put it down for a second. And, uh, just get 
everything all organized here. Oh, shit. Look at all over my pants. Why did I get a list all over myself? Holy crap. I'll deal with that later. So, yeah, uh, I remember a few weeks ago I mentioned about how I was uh, getting away from the uh, rot wing tentacle ink pens and uh, switching back to the uh, to the fine liners. And uh, I'm still not too sure if it's because of the, fine the uh, tentacle pens. I'm maybe just not looking after them well enough or I'm just not liking them anymore. I'm not too sure. So that's something uh, maybe at some point I'll, uh, I'll I'll just go back at some point and uh, try out a uh, one uh, final effort. What the heck was that? I sound like gunshots. But I'm still in the conservation land, so. But I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna go back further into the conservation area because I am at the border of uh, private property, so. Still on the conservation side, there's a fence over there, but uh, just play it safe here. Yeah, so I'll just, I'm gonna try one other, make another attempt at the uh, one least, another uh, drawing with the uh, technical ink pens. I still like to look after them though, even though I'm not really using them. So I'll just uh, I shake them up every once in a while and just draw a few lines just so they're not uh, plugging up on me. And, uh, You know, I was just thinking, you know, these, you know, these stone walls that you find out in the far in the country, you know, they usually borderline uh, one property from another. That uh, how long ago it was when somebody or a group of people had made this wall? They took like all the stones, right, that they find when they when they clear the land for uh, farming, right? And these are all the stones that they. They uh, move, and they, because you know, obviously the, uh, you, you can't plow very well through a, a, a field full of stones, so they think they make this stone wall here, and uh, so it was probably done, like, could have literally been done two or three hundred years ago, and they didn't have machinery to do it, so all this was done by hand, and maybe a horse helped, right, but, uh, you know, you just think about it. Do you ever think about what's buried underneath these stone walls? That's, that's another kind of a creepy thought. It's, these stone walls are everywhere, right? And uh, if you wanted to hide something, I mean, that's, just, that's about as buried as you can get. Nobody will ever dig it up. If you wanted to hide, if you wanted to hide something, well, that's, that'd be the place to do it. Excuse me, I'm just uh, fiddling around here.
so tempted to go over there, but after hearing that sound, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go over here. And at some point, I'm going to definitely do a, an art tutorial out in the field, outside somewhere. I'll draw something like a, a abandoned house or a barn or something that I'll come across. But I won't just take a picture of it all. I'll actually draw it right there. But I never like drawing it, drawing attention to myself. So. I find that people always want to come around and see what you're doing. And I keep a, kind of a low profile that way. This is kind of nice here, actually. <clears throat> this is a part of the conservation area people don't go into. I'm actually on the other side of the uh, main area of the Scottsdale farm. Nice old tree there, eh? Look at that. <clears throat> Just spiders out in every direction. I don't even know if it's even still alive or not. Look at the thing at the base there. It's like growing almost right out of that stone wall. I'm at the end of it, eh? Oh, it's got to be at least 150 years old. So that kind of gives you an idea, you know, how old this stone wall is. You think about it like a tree like that growing out of the top of it and there are stones pushed up against it or no actually I correct myself the stones have been pushed out of the way of it You've got big rock right there in the center of the screen and uh, so obviously this stone wall is at least 150 years old probably 200 maybe 300 judging by the amount of moss on it again that brings up the question how old i'd really like to establish a date on this i'm thinking it's probably at least 200 years all these other large trees that are, are growing up out of it. So this would be a good spot. Maybe I can come back here and do a, uh, an art video here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> maybe, just, maybe set myself up right here. I'll just sort of draw that. Usually when I do my drawings, I'll take out a bunch of stuff. Like I might... That tree right there, I'd probably remove from the from the uh, photo and maybe draw in a couple of these rocks more closer. So I sort of change things a bit. So maybe maybe like this angle right here. I'm going a wide angle. Yeah. So maybe like that. There's my gimbal in my hand there. I'm holding my phone and the gimbal in the same hand. So let me switch back to... There we go. So 
sorry, it's a bit shaky. I'll, uh, I'll charge up my gimbal here. I left it in the car. I just, I just leave the thing in the car, and I haven't probably haven't charged it, charged the thing in like at least four months. So I've been using it a fair bit lately. So uh, I figure I'm probably getting an hour, hours worth of usage of the gimbal. <clears throat> now, now that I know that, before I have to charge it, so that's a nice photo right there. That'd be a nice painting right there. Here's some ducks behind the uh, marsh there. I'll show you the barn on the other side of the uh, pond. barbed wire line here and I'm a bit confused I think I'm on the right side of the property line oh some ducks across across the way there oh sorry it's a bit out of focus it's focusing on the uh, branches in the foreground there there we are Some Canadian geese. It's been a bit warmer than usual here, so they're not. Uh, I haven't seen any uh, geese flying south just yet. Probably in a couple weeks. Everything seems to be this year seems to be behind the temperature-wise. We had a big snowstorm last year in November, so the, the one in a hundred-year snowstorm, and uh, I guess this year the. Uh, <clears throat> It's complete opposite this year. There we are. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there's a barn over there behind the... Uh... the uh, across the pond there. I'm going to start making my way back, but I'm going to cut through here. So I got all that, uh, <clears throat> all those little things stuck to my leg. If I can get through here. Get back through over here. It's like a little wall here. Yeah, I can't get through there either, but it's like completely clear on the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut around a bit through the, through the field slightly. I just got a spider web on my face. Well, I'm just going to have to plunge through here, just for a short distance. Oh, jeepers! One thing when you're on these walks, you really got to watch where you walk. I've uh, impaled my feet a few times in my life. So, yeah, there I am. I'm back. So I can just cut through here. So I'm going to sign up for now. And... Uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. 
and I think I'll be doing a YouTube live this evening or tomorrow evening. So, okay then, bye for now.